Hi Woodbury, I'm Ashley and here's the scoop. New requirements regarding child safety seats, booster seats, and seat belts went into effect in August. The new law requires children ages two and younger to sit in a rear-facing child safety seat and has increased the age to move out of a booster seat from eight to nine years old. In addition, children under 13 must sit in the back seat of vehicles if possible, and every driver who transports children under 18 years old in a motor vehicle should have them restrained in a child safety seat or seat belt. Woodbury residents are welcome to request a car seat check or installation assistance from one of Public Safety's child passenger seat technicians. The judging is complete and 24 photos earned recognition in the 26th annual Focus on Woodbury photo contest. Here's a look at the first place winners. First place in the abstract category is Jane Anderson. First place in the people category is Taylor Limbeck. First place in the pets category is Nora Franny Anelli. First place in the places category is Andy Ben. First place in the seasons category is Kent Nye. First place in the wildlife category is Justin Mueller. And first place in the reader's choice category is Terry Schmeidlin. This year's contest, sponsored by Woodbury Magazine, drew 394 entries. Have you driven past a construction site in Woodbury and found yourself wondering, what are they building over there? The answers to these questions and more development-related information can be found on the city's online development map. Items are placed on the development map once a development application is made to the city. Later, more specific information about a project is added following the City Council review process. October is National Code Compliance Month, and you can celebrate by recognizing the city's building, zoning, housing, and other codes and ordinances that protect the public's health, safety, and welfare. Some of the more common infractions include making sure waste and recycling containers are located indoors or fully hidden with the exception of being at the curb after 4 p.m. the day prior to pickup. Lawn areas should not exceed eight inches in height. One piece of recreational equipment not exceeding 24 feet in length may be located outdoors at least 15 feet from the curb, at least five feet from the side and rear property lines, and on top of concrete or blacktop. Recreational equipment includes items such as utility trailers, boats, campers, and snowmobiles. Maintenance of structures and grounds. Common violations found include damaged siding, windows, doors, roofing, and peeling paint. If you find violations on your property, please correct them. In many instances, violations occur because people are simply unaware that a requirement exists. And that's a quick update from the City of Woodbury. Have a great day.